Hi, in this video, we look at how to get started with Vision OS and SwiftUI by creating your first SwiftUI and Vision OS project in Xcode 15 Beta 2. I'll show you how to navigate through the interface. Finally, we will look at how to bring USDZ 3D models from Sketchfab. So let's get started. To follow along with this tutorial, you need Xcode 15 Beta 2. It is not possible to create Vision OS projects with Xcode 15 Beta 1. So make sure you download Xcode 15 Beta 2 from the Apple developer website. I have already launched Xcode. So let's create a new project. For the platform, we will select Vision OS. You can see we have only one application. So let's click Next. You can name the project as you want, but I'm going to use my first Vision OS. On this dialog window, we have two important settings, Initial Scene and Immersive Space. With Initial Scene, there are two options, Window and Volume. When you select Window, you get a scalable container for 2D content. So this allows you to scale the object at any distance. When you select Volume, you get a fixed container for 3D content. It maintains the same size at any distance. Later in another video, I'll show you how to create a volume project as initial scene. For now, let's select window. That will give us a container for displaying 2D content. Next, we have immersive space. In this video, we won't use the immersive space, so we will set it to none. When you select mixed as the immersive space, your app will be shown with other apps. When you select full, only your app's content will be shown in the 3D scene. But we don't need this certain at the moment, so let's set it to none. So we now have the preview running. I use an Intel Mac. For later videos, I will be using M2 Mac Mini. Since we selected window as the initial scene, you can see the content is displayed in a 2D container. Let's navigate through the interface. On the bottom left, we have the play icon. That is the live preview. Next, we have the selectable. This gives an outline of whatever we have in the scene. The next button is the canvas device settings. So here we can set dynamic type. On the bottom right, we have controls for navigating through the interface. The first one is interact. Let's go back to the live preview. So I have interact selected. So we can click the individual contents on the screen. Next, we have free look. With free look, we can just navigate through the scene by going to the left, right, up, or down. Then the next button allows you to pan through the interface. Then we have Orbit. Our last navigation control is Dolly, which allows you to move the object far away or bring it to the front. By clicking the Image button, we can change the background image. For example, we have this selected, so we can change it to the next, and that has updated on the background. We can also change the camera position by selecting any of these options. So you now know how to navigate through the preview in Vision OS. Let's look at how to bring 3D assets from sites like Sketchfab. Let's go to the browser and go to the Sketchfab website. On the Sketchfab website, you can get both paid and free 3D models for your projects. For example, let's select this AirPods Pro. So we want to use this for the Xcode Vision OS project. Let's download it from here. You can see here we have different formats, but the one that works with the Xcode project is USDZ. So let's download this one. Then I'll go to my downloads folder. So this is the USDZ file we just downloaded. On the 2D container, you can see we have this circular object. In the code, that is this object. It is loaded using model 3D. You can see a model 3D is a view that asynchronously loads and displays a 3D model. Since we already have the 3D model from the Sketchfab website, we can copy this code to load the 3D model we just downloaded. So let's go back to the Xcode project. Let's place a comment on the model displayed here. 
then we add the code over here in the VStack. Looking at the preview, you can see we have a progress view. So what the model 3D view does is very simple. It will look at the image string. So if it finds that, then it will display that on the interface. Otherwise, it will display this progress view. So by going to the project navigator, this is the file we added. If we click that, we can display that using Reality Composer Pro. So we can perform the same interactions like what we did on the Sketchfab website. Let's click the file name again and press Ctrl C to copy the name. Then we go back to our content view and replace the image string. So now that we have the right file name, you can see it is displaying on the screen. We can now select any of the tools on the toolbar to navigate through the interface. So this is all that we have in this video. In some of the upcoming videos, I'll show you how to animate the models we add into our scene. Thanks for watching this video.